Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to affect a flip animation with CSS. This video was inspired by a blog post by Sarah Parker, which is available at the URL shown here. One of the best features of CSS is the ability to create endless varieties of animation. One of the most popular effects is the flip effect. Here's what it looks like. Now here's how it's done. We'll start with this HTML. Here we have a container with the on touch start event that will trigger the animation between the two enclosed content panes when the mouse hovers over them. Here's the CSS that enables the effect. The perspective of the animation is primed up by the outer container, while the element in which the flipping takes place is represented by the inner container. The transition speed can also be controlled from here. The position of the front and back elements is set to absolute. The Z index in the back element is lower than that in the front element, and the back element can also rotate by 180 degrees. That's about all there is to it. If you want to flip this element via JavaScript, you can toggle the CSS flip class on the container and add this code. If you want to do a vertical flip, you can use this CSS to flip the axis, and then just add a transform origin. Certain adjustments are necessary in order to make this effect work in Internet Explorer, since it's not compatible with the latest animation and transform properties. What we'll need to do is to flip the front and back elements simultaneously. You can find the complete code for these adjustments in the blog post. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Sarah for the inspiration. Check out WebSpeaks, the URL shown here, for other articles and tutorials related to web development.